How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. I apologise for one eye being slightly red and whatnot. Hay fever, I, I swear, is bad this year. <laughs> but guys, I've just got back from LA. Uh, it was an amazing time. Had such a good time at VidCon. Expect a big vlog and stuff. Uh, since I was in LA, I've been getting an overwhelming request on Twitter to react to this um, this kid. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what he does. Um, through research... It's, um, he's, he's on Musical.ly, the app, uh, where they mime to stuff. So, I'm just gonna watch it. I don't know, he's, I guess he's kind of like a lot of these kids who go from Musical.ly and to justify their career, they make a music video to say, well, I'm a singer. Because <laughs> they can't go around saying that I mime. So that's, that's just me, how I work it out. So let's, let's go and let's watch this video and see, and see what it's about. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're on the beach. It's a fucking nice beach by the looks of it. Hey baby girl, I got to see you right now. Is he the one singing it? I can't even see him moving his mouth. Is it coming out of his hair? Why isn't the lifeguard up top there doing something? I bet he's up there looking down like, go swimming or something. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What was that? What was that? Go back! Did he just grab her chin? Did he just literally just latch onto her chin with his hand? Was it her chin? He said lips. He just stuck his thumb in her mouth. I, d <laughs> I, I don't know what's happened to flirting, but I have never in my life gone up to a girl and just grabbed her fucking lips with my thumb. Did he grab it or just stick his thumb on her mouth? He literally looked like he stuck his thumb in her mouth. I've seen this move in other music videos with like Justin Timberlake and stuff where they'll grab the girl's chin and kind of stroke it. They're not fucking Labradors. <laughs> you, don't just, you don't just grab their chin and stroke it or stick your thumb in their mouth. I have never, ever... Ever gone up to a girl flirting and been like, oh, hey, girl, how's it going? <laughs> no! Oh, that, that, see, that tastes, that tastes horrible. I don't even know where my own thumb's been. She doesn't know where his thumb has been. He might have just gone taking a piss, forgot to wash his hands, and now he's wiping his thumb all over her mouth. <laughs> girls, girls, c please advise me. Do, do you like it when guys come up and just grab your lips? And just be like, <laughs> don't, don't grab her face. It's not yours. He's got a migraine or something. He keeps grabbing his head. Is he in pain? What's that? What is it? What's that? Is he trying to read her fucking mind? Will she say yes? Does she like my thumb in her mouth? No, she doesn't. <laughs> What were the lyrics? What, what, what were the lyrics? Right, to me it sounds like he's saying, Will you take a selfie for me? Post it up all sexy for me. And he's won. There's a huge problem going on right now in the world. And I don't mean what's going on in this video. Well, I do, but not completely this. I've heard stories, okay, and I, I'm 30 years old. You have to understand, these reactions come through the eyes of a 30-year-old man who's also a father, okay? There's a huge problem right now with kids and phones. There's a statistic that's saying that every classroom knows at least what a few students look like naked. Because a girl will send, or a boy will send, a picture of themselves nude at this age to their boyfriend or something, and they show it around the school. What the fuck? <laughs> what? That is... Wrong, and it's actually illegal because these kids are walking around and distributing paedophilic images. They're distrib- they're, they're dis- I can't speak. <laughs> they're distributing child porn around their schools by showing it to each other. Now obviously they can't get done for it because they're all the same age. But this is what's going on. And this song 
It's, it's, it's about, I, I assume the song's called fucking Selfie, and he's, he's saying, post it up all sexy for me, and the girl has just been born. So, is this a song about advertising? Distribution of, of child porn? Mark, what is wrong with you? It's not actually his fault. I don't ever blame the kids. I blame the adults around them. I feel they don't want to get in the way of their kids' fame, so they let them get on with it. But this is the result. Oh, I see why he's got a migraine now. <laughs> let me know what you're ready for me, yeah. So that was the rest of the lyrics. I, I paused it on that bit. I missed that bit. So she's got to post a sexy pic to let him know that she's ready for him. Ready for what? To do homework together? I fucking hope so, Mark. <laughs> let me know you're ready for me. What does that mean? What's he going to do to her? I don't want to know. Are we going to leave that unanswered? I, I really, I swear to God, this is getting bad real fucking quick. <laughs> if I could tell it, poor girl, it'd be going down. Wait. 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 Wait a fucking minute. He just said if he had a superpower, he'd teleport to her. And not in, not in a cool way, like, oh, what's your favourite super hit? What was your favourite superpower, Mark? Uh, what, what would you have? Oh, I'd fly, because it's cool, and not, uh, oh, no one else can do it. He's just said that he wants to teleport to her, and it's going down. I, oh, God, I don't know whether to be sick or oh, call the police. I, <laughs> look, look, I just need to hear that again. If I could teleport, girl, it'd be going down. To down? Going down where? I tell you where she'd be going if she walked into my house, and that was my son. She'd be going downstairs and out the front fucking door home with her parents. Because nothing would be going down, and also I'd contact NASA because my son could teleport. And I'd try and get money out of it. I'm not- uh, why? Why not? Fuck it. You should know that you're my world. As the homies and see what they Did he just drip ice cream down the chair? Is that what happened? As the homies- Yep, that is, um... Do you not know how to eat an ice cream, Mark? You seem to know how to get your hair on fleek, but you can't eat an ice Look at that shit! It's fucking everywhere! All over the furniture! You can definitely tell I'm 30. <laughs> Drip that down my sofa, boy! Woo! I'd whip your ass in front of your new girlfriend. See that bit there when she's putting the ice cream and that on him, like, playfully, like... To me... That's what, if the, if teenagers, or if he is a teenager, I, I don't even know, I, he looks like a six-year-old. If, if they're going to make music videos, it's fine, it can be cute, it can be playful, and stuff like that. But why isn't it like that all the way through? That The point I'm trying to make is, with these videos, is that it's not like that all the way through. It's just over-sexualized, and that's what bothers me, you know, all the comedy and jokes aside that I throw at these videos, that's what it should be like throughout the video. It should be like, cute. Like, that's what I used to do to my girlfriends and stuff in high school. I used to, like, put ice cream on their heads on the beach and shit. It's funny. Relationship didn't last long, but it was funny. <laughs> Please tell me he's not driving. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, they've kidnapped them. What have they done? Why have they got them out of a black SUV and put their, their hands over their eyes? What are they fucking doing? Hammer and Jack's Bar and Grill. Why is that a surprise? Fuck's sake, these kids are probably loaded. Look at that jacket! Look at it! Is this worth my house? The hair products he's used. Worth my house! And they, <laughs> and you expect them like, ta-da, we're at the Hilton. But no, they're at some grill place. <laughs> what grill was it? Hammerjack Sports Bar and Grill. And she can't believe it. Has she never left the house? They probably go there every Saturday night. <laughs> That's not a surprise. When you take it from the right angle. The right angle. It's not a porn, Mark. Baby, won't you take a selfie from me? What did he just buy her? What did he just get her? Won't you take a selfie from me? Bought her a bag of crisps. So not only is a surprise a massive letdown, it's the arcade. And you, 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 she thinks that, oh, my first date, I'm going to have a nice meal, I'm going to have a grown-up meal. And he hands her a pack of fucking crisps. 
pack of walkers, or, or lays as they're called in the US. He's handed over some lays. And I really hope that's the only fucking lay he's talking about in this music video. Can you take a selfie for me? No. 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 They're not actually playing the arcade machines. The mean fuckers who made this video says, I'll just pretend. Like they didn't put a quarter in and just say, you know what, actually, just play some games whilst we film. That's mean. They're just pretending. I hope they got a gut. Well, they probably did, but he, he spent all his money on crisps for his date. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts on the video. Obviously, if you want to see, like, the full video, you'll have to go check it out. So, basically, um, the song is about taking a selfie and sending it to him uh, so he knows that she's ready for him. Now, that could mean um, she's ready to go out. Like, because she could have taken a selfie and her jacket and a little handbag, and she's like, I'm ready to go. But I don't... The way the lyrics and the way this song is coming to me as an adult who's listened to adult songs, it, it just sounds sexual to me. It just sounds like, yeah, girl, take a selfie for me. Let me know that you want it. Let me know that you're ready. You know, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> but that's how it comes across to me as an adult. I think a lot of the mistakes that are being made here as I watch more and more of these videos is that these kids are just trying to replicate what the adults do and um they're not fully aware because he's what is he is he 12 or something they don't really know what they're doing that actually wasn't on the whole a bad video so yeah um to sum up i still think it was a little over sexualized i still think that it's not the kids that are to blame i just think that um it, it's it's the adults around the industry that you know need that need to sort of maybe step in and say do you know what smearing cake on each other's fine it's all playful don't don't put your thumb in her mouth though <laughs> i can't believe that <laughs> like love caress my channel you can caress my channel because i'm 30 all right it's fine no it's not what did i just say what the fuck was that <laughs> la la lu la li lu lu la li lo Man, I've been away for a week and I can't make a fucking video. <laughs> like that across my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Leave me some what you think of the video. Don't listen to me now. I'm going to talk about this in the next video. Do not go to his fucking YouTube and leave abuse. All right? Don't do it. Because you're going to get me in trouble. And that's not why I'm making these videos. So people go around bullying each other. Don't do it. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.